All right, everyone. So we got some really exciting news coming out of the games industry yesterday. And no, I'm not talking about something that was announced at Jeff Keighley's Game Awards, but rather some really exciting information as it pertains to Unity's data-oriented technology stack and the release schedule for Unity's Dots moving forward. So let's not waste any more time. Let's just get right into it. Um, so this is actually a forum thread posted by this gentleman right here, Laurent Gibert. Uh, who is actually the product manager for DOS. So he basically oversees, you know, everything related to Unity's data or the technology stack. So he posted this, you know, fairly lengthy forum post right here. Um, I will, of course, leave a link to this in the description so you can read the full thing and get all the details yourself. Um, but yeah, let's just get into it. Basically, they um, start off by talking about, you know, what they've been up to lately. They wanted to start off by saying that we are actively developing DOTS. So this means, you know, over the past year that their teams have been working on ECS solutions and have been focusing on leveraging the lessons learned from early adopters productions to converge towards a stable first release. So this is, you know, really exciting stuff. And this just kind of confirms that they've uh, been continuing working on it this whole time, even if they haven't really been saying much. They go on to talk a little bit about why they haven't been saying much lately. It sounds like, um, you know, dots might have been a little bit more um, bigger of a thing than they initially thought it was going to be. Um, right here they say, we also realized that it required a more comprehensive approach that touches almost every aspect of the Unity development experience. And so basically they say they ended up pausing the releases altogether where they just, you know, kind of figured out the best direction to move forward. So, you know, I think that's, you know, pretty smart of them to just, you know, take a step back for a second and just say, you know, hey, okay, where are we at? You know, this is something that um, is clearly, you know, there are a lot of people that like it and, you know, they really believe in the technology. You know, how can we make this the best? product moving forward so you know I, I kind of appreciate that you know it is kind of unfortunate that we basically had a year with no releases um, but anyways they do say that they are now confident that they have reached a point where we're able to restart releasing public patches package patches to our packages if i can say that correctly so that's really exciting that we're you know finally going to be getting some new releases for dots and i cannot wait to see that all the things that they've been working on over this past year so how are they going to be rolling this out well they're actually going to be doing it in two milestones so the first is a set of experimental packages updated to version 0.50 and they're going to be targeting a first quarter of 2022 release for that. Um, so that's very exciting. We're going to be seeing it in just the next couple of months, hopefully. So, you know, this is kind of like I was saying in one of my previous videos about, you know, where is uh, Entity 0.18 at? I didn't think that they were um, actually going to release Entities 18. I was thinking, you know, maybe they're going to skip a few releases. Um, but it sounds like they actually skipped a few numbers and we're already up to uh, Entities 0.50. The way that they've, you know, kind of, position this is it kind of seems to be you know like a halfway point basically between the initial releases as well as the you know full 1.0 version which we will be talking a little bit about later i mean they you know could have chosen any number basically 18 or above but they ended up choosing 50 and that just kind of seems like a good clean starting point to go off of um, and it seems like we'll be basically be building up from entities 50 and on so yeah let's you know talk a little bit about this 0.50 basically they say um, it's initially just going to be compatible with the unity 2020 LTS versions basically the same as it is right now and then uh, later on in the year they're going to be moving up to uh, compatibility with the unity 2021 LTS so we're still going to be on unity 2020 LTS for uh, just a little bit but um, you know they do want to get the 2021 LTS compatibility out pretty soon as well you know, I think that's kind of smart for them to do. There's been, you know, obviously a lot of people who have been um, developing with ECS on Unity 2020 LTS for some time now. So, you know, it's really important for them that they, you know, bring the packages up to the version that's compatible with 2020 LTS, you know, focus on getting that out the door first. And then we can, you know, get the additional features and benefits from 2021 LTS. And they do go to say that, you know, this is still an experimental mode. So this means they're still not recommended for production, you know, which is totally fine because um, this is almost kind of like a relaunch of DOTS that it feels like. So we're all, almost kind of like, um, you know, getting to see what the future of DOTS is going to look like in this is a 0.50 version. So I think that we'll probably be seeing a fair bit of changes and, um, you know, probably some issues to work through towards the beginning. But, you know, as those kind of get worked through um, towards a, a release of Entities 1.0, you know, things will start to get smoothed out. So that kind of brings me to the next point, which is the second milestone, which is the actual transition away from experimental packages 
to a full released status, which they're calling Entities 1.0. So that is very exciting. This is, you know, the first official confirmation of them uh, basically saying that they're working towards a full official release of Entities 1.0. They do say that uh, they're going to be targeting the 2022 LTS cycle for their preferred release. So that means the earliest this would be able to come out is um, probably like spring of 2023. Although, you know, the way that it's worded, they kind of give themselves some leeway to, you know, basically be sometime in the 2023 calendar year. Of course, that's what they're targeting. And again, you know, we'll have to see how the 0.50 uh, kind of soft launch goes. You know, if things go really well, you know, maybe we'll, we'll see a release kind of on that earlier end of 2023. But, you know, maybe as z version 0.50 is out in the wild and people are working with it, um, you know, maybe they do need to take another step back and kind of, you know, rethink things a little bit. But um, it seems like they really have kind of a clear direction going forward. You can kind of get that vibe um, just by reading through this forum post here. Now, one thing that they specifically call out here is that the Entities 1.0 will not be compatible with earlier LTS versions. So basically what this means is if they release it for the 2022 LTS, then that means you won't be able to use Entities 1.0 on 2021 LTS or 2020 LTS. So just keep that in mind if you do plan on creating a, a production game with dots in the future. Just know that if you do want to upgrade to Entities 1.0 when it is released, you won't be able to use any existing versions of Unity that are out right now. So glad they're just kind of getting ahead of the ball on this one. One of the really exciting things though that they're mentioning is when they um, actually release version 0.50, again, that's hopefully happening in just the next couple of months here, um, they're actually going to be much more public about um, kind of the roadmap that that things look like going towards the actual full release of entities. They do mention that they're going to be detailing this in their public roadmap space, which of course um, they have, you know, kind of all their uh, other sections kind of documented out about, you know, features that they're adding and all that. So glad to see it included in that public roadmap. And hopefully we'll see much more transparency about, you know, the features that they're prioritizing um, with Unity Dots and kind of what the actual schedule for getting those released out into the wild are. Now, this paragraph was uh, fairly important. I think there's a couple good things to unpack here so i just highlighted the whole thing so they say the goal of entities 1.0 is to augment the unity engine with an opt-in way of writing game code that's compatible with the existing unity architecture entities 1.0 is focused on enabling specific scenarios and types of games that were previously challenging to build in unity this will be illustrated with new real production examples from some of the early adopters of dots and crystallized in updated versions of DOTS samples. So a couple of things to unpack here. So I think the biggest thing at the beginning is that they just want to say that, you know, DOTS is not going to be a replacement for development in Unity, but it's really going to be an extension of it. So, you know, if you want to opt into these high performance features for whatever reason, you know, you can do that. And if you do choose to opt into these features, the workflow is going to be very similar to the existing Unity workflow. And then finally, the last thing that they mention here is that they're gonna be talking about um, bringing real production examples from the early adopters of DOTS that are, you know, updated to basically the latest and greatest versions of DOTS. So that's obviously really exciting. It's, you know, gonna be really important for everyone to, you know, kind of have some, some samples to reference that really show us, you know, how to do things in Unity DOTS. And so, you know, basically these are the sample projects that they're going to be providing. You know, if you're, you know, super into dots and everything uh, kind of like I am, then you're going to be familiar with these already. Um, but basically the first one they have is the dots shooter. And this is basically going to be a starting point for creating a network shooter game with simple main thread game code. So really the focus of this is uh, making a, a multiplayer game and they show you how to use the net code to use uh, you know client server architecture with what you'd expect from a complete solution with client side prediction interpolation and lag compensation so you know obviously like you know really important stuff for making a you know very technical and competitive shooter type game and you know it doesn't really get into any of the crazy like multi-threading things like that um, you know this sample project is really just focused on the networking stuff so if you want to you know really make a a super high level networking game and you don't need to worry about any of the crazy you know burst and multi-threading stuff like that you know you can do that just by following along with this sample project 
If you do want to start getting a little bit more crazy, they are going to have the Mega City demo available, um, which is going to show how to use entities and baking workflows to author content using subscenes. They're going to make the authoring experience in the editor much more integrated and robust, as well as make the subscene workflows closer to the existing Unity workflows. So again, this kind of goes back to um, just really integrating Unity dots with the existing Unity workflow. So anyone who's familiar with working in Unity you're going to be able to add these you know kind of dots things to your game if you do want to uh, take advantage of the, those workflows so that's obviously a major plus in my opinion and then finally the unite austin slash nordius will show large-scale simulations of entities and how to write high performance multi-threaded game code so you know this is obviously the stuff that i'm really super interested in um, you know just you know getting real crazy with it doing the you know, the super high-end high performance stuff um, so if you do want to get involved in that you know this is going to be the sample project that you're going to be following along with of course stay tuned to the channel i'm sure i'm going to be doing a breakdown of um, you know a bunch of different parts of these sample projects because you know why not so then they kind of close it out talking about you know what their main goal for entities 1.0 is you know talking about bringing entities to a release state so that means including the uh, support documentation and learning content of a expected released workflow so you know that's really exciting it's good to know that um, you know unity is going to be standing behind this with the support documentation and learning resources because that's really just going to be much more information for us to reference and you know be able to um, you know really understand the best practices and how to make the best games possible with unity dots so they don't really talk about much about what's going to be coming out in the 0.5 or 1.0 releases but we do get a small little glimpse here and then they basically say our current scope for the release this year covers APIs, authoring and debugging workflows for entities, physics, netcode and rendering. So obviously all those things are great. Um, if you read into it though, there are a couple of things missing, um, you know, like they don't mention animation for instance. So I don't know if that's an intentional omission or just something that they chose not to mention here. But I think as we kind of continue, there's another point that kind of relates to that. So again, they're talking about making the authoring, baking and visualization workflows integrated in the editor. So that just basically goes to mean, um, you know, things are just going to be much more natural working with dots. You know, right now when things get converted to entities, they kind of go into this like weird, you know, you can't click them in the editor kind of state. So um, I, I would assume that that's going to be getting much better um, as we work towards the entities 1.0 release. And they also mentioned that iterating and debugging burst for game code is a productive developer experience. So I think that's fantastic. If you did see the, uh, you know, postmortem video that I did on the recent game jam game that I created with Unity Dots, called uh, Trash Empire. You know that I did kind of have some issues when it came to debugging some burst compiled code. Um, not necessarily some issues, but it just wasn't the most, you know, pleasant development experience for that, you know, particular slice of development. So I'm really glad this is something that they're specifically mentioning in this forum post here. Now, something really important to note here, not all features of Unity will complete entities compatibility. So this is kind of another one of those things where they're just kind of getting ahead of it saying, you know, not everything is going to have like an, an ECS dots 100% uh, equivalent. And they say, you know, based on the successful experiences of early adopters, we're fully embracing the hybrid nature of the 1.0 release, which allows you to choose ECS uh, for its value involving specific challenges while leveraging game objects for other aspects of your production. Our goal is to enable teams that are able to ship a game objects based production to leverage ECS for reaching goals beyond what Unity used to be able to support. So again, a number of things that are interesting in this section here. I think some people may be initially disappointed where they say that, you know, not everything is going to have complete entities compatibility. I guess we'll really have to wait until um, the dots 1.0 or maybe even the 0.5 release to, uh, you know, see exactly what that entails and kind of, you know, how they're going to smooth out those workflows to make this hybrid approach a little bit more seamless. And again, this just kind of goes back to the point where they're saying dots and ECS are not going to be a replacement for the way that you create games but rather they're going to be an extension for the way that you create games. You know, if you do need to leverage some of these extra features or, you know, if you do want to use them, then you are able to do so. So anyways, they go on to say to wrap this up, we plan to share more information with you during the first quarter of 2022 with the 0.50 update to experimental packages that will enable us to ship patches again. 
The full list of packages will be shared closer to release. We also intend to present at the same time the scope of 1.0 and beyond to continuously validate our direction with you as we go. So that's, you know, something that's I'm glad that they really called out is that they're, you know, really working with the community, working with people who are actually developing these games to, you know, figure out the best way to, you know, structure dots and ECS that makes the most sense for developers. So that's, you know, fantastic to hear. And so, yeah, that's basically everything that was covered in this forum post from the dots project manager, Laurent Gibert. Obviously, lots of things to be really excited about and good to know, um, you know, kind of some of the overall directions that Unity's uh, data oriented technology stack and their entity component system is going to be heading over the coming months and years. Um, obviously, we don't know much of the very specifics right now, but we will start to see more of those things soon. Um, you know, obviously, really glad to know that we're finally getting some more communication again from uh, Unity as far as their data oriented technology stack goes. And, you know, I know there's going to be a lot of really exciting things coming in the near future. Of course, I will be covering all that stuff on this channel. So definitely make sure you're subscribed to the channel and stay tuned for many more videos coming soon, uh, detailing more news that we see, as well as working with these brand new workflows of Unity Dots. Um, so anyways, if you guys enjoyed today's video, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button. Also, let me know what you think about uh, this forum post here. Are you excited for uh, the new releases of Unity's Dots? So feel free to let me know down in the comments section below or join us over on Discord over at tmg.dev slash Discord. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one.